Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so part six here and a very different task than uh, what we've been handed previously in this video series and this is the task at hand and this question. All right, so first thing is that we see immediately we can rewrite this one inside the square root as four minus root five divided by four minus root five. That way we can have common denominators inside of the square root. And so that's to say, uh, let's write in place of the given this here. Now, since we have common denominators, namely four minus root five, we could just simplify the numerator and write one fraction inside the square root. Um, to do that, we have four and then minus root five and then plus two root five in the numerator. That simplifies to four plus just root five, right? And the denominator obviously is four minus root five and this is all inside the square root. So this is what I just said, right? Okay, cool. Now, uh, when we have something like four minus root five, we like multiplying by the conjugate to get rid of square roots in the denominator, right? And the conjugate of four minus root five is four plus root five. And of course we can just multiply the denominator by the conjugate of four minus root five. We also have to multiply the numerator by the conjugate of four minus root five, which again is four plus root five, the conjugate. So this is what I'm saying that we do. When we do, and the denominator, of the quantity inside the square root, uh, we can use difference of squares because we know a minus b times a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So that's going to be 4 squared, which is 16, minus root 5 squared, which is 5. So 16 minus 5 is going to be the denominator. And clearly the numerator is 4 plus root 5 all squared, right? Okay, so uh, that's to say that we can write this. Now we could take the square root of the numerator and then the square root of the denominator. And notice that the denominator is uh, 11. So once we do that, which is do square root of numerator and then square root of denominator, we can write uh, this here, right? Which is, and the numerator of what we had inside the square root, we can get rid of uh, the square because square rooting and squaring undo each other, right? And then in the denominator, we have root 11. Now we can't have a square root in a denominator, so we rationalize. That's what it's called by multiplying this very last fraction we have uh, by root 11 numerator and denominator. When we do that, it's a little bit of work, but in the numerator, we have to distribute the root 11. So we get four root 11 and then plus root five times root 11. And then the denominator, root 11 times root 11 is just 11. So uh, we see that the only thing else we could do is in the numerator, we could use square root rules and combine root 5 times root 11 into root 55 and that's that and I uh, I'm done here and uh, yeah take care keep watching a uh, couple of very interesting problems to follow this one all right bye